Chasing the Outdoors. Well, howdy. Ethan H. Outdoors. What's up, gentlemen? Waiting on a handful of people to get here. Damn thing still says very bad connection. Ugh. So, uh, you guys notice we're rebuilding. I've got over 200 subscribers now. Lewis, you made it! Your old lady's still cleaning the house? You're gonna have to get her a French maid outfit. Hmm. I'll send you some pictures of some good ones later. If your old lady doesn't get jealous or anything. Matthew, what's up, man? Wait, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm still showing only like three people watching. What's up with that? Don't give me that bad connection shit. Okay, there we are. I'm going to have to have a word with AT&T. So, I was just like in the house finishing up this video. I'm editing and doing everything. Now, Mad Nasty. God dang it, I forgot to text you. Ugh. I kind of got busy fixing my hair up and everything and putting on my makeup for this and I forgot to text everybody. I, I texted like Lewis and Aaron. Uh, Aaron, you make it yet? Fuck. People are dropping out or I'm, I'm breaking up or what? It's only showing four people. Um, so, tonight I'm going to upload uh, a review of a brush cutter. I oh, think I do look pretty today. That's every day. And you know, I know brush cutter reviews don't get aren't real popular on trapping channels, but you know, when you're cutting trails through the woods, they're pretty handy. But anyway, you're gonna like this. It's pretty well, a pretty good, pretty good video. Yeah, leave it at that. All right, I need more people here before I get. Look, I was like driving around today, and I'm like, motherfucker, because uh, that that what's that girl, WT Farm girl. Uh, had done the thing where I, I, uh, about the furs. I sent her two fox pelts, and she's like, you know, what I do with them, and blah, blah, blah. We were talking in, uh, under, in her comment section, and I mentioned that I had a freezer full of stuff I had in skin, and I was like, shit, man, I ain't even opened the freezer in like a month. I can't even remember what all was in here. So I figured we'll do it live on air. We'll just like pull the camera over here, and hopefully I don't have any human bodies in there because that'd be pretty embarrassing because I haven't like, I haven't checked to see. Um, so I'm gonna we'll do we'll open this up um, on the air and we'll see what I got left in here that I got to pull out and see. Aaron, you finally made it! God dang, dude, you're three minutes and nineteen seconds late. <sighs> All right, that's okay. I don't know. Uh, it's breaking up on you. It all come out. Hmm. You're right, Dan. I do look good today. So, holy shit! All right, I'm gonna pull the uh, pull the camera over here. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh, oh! Come on. That's not a good view. Here we go. Dang it! Dun, dun, dun. All right, that's gonna have to do. Uh, <coughs> wow, boy, they freeze in some weird positions, don't they? Well, it was laying on top of a cat. Beaver! God damn, this thing's heavy. Freezing, freezing ain't supposed to make them heavier. Smile for the camera. Huh? Huh? Kiss it. Kiss it. All right, let's get rid of that thing. Huh. It's a solid black pussy cat. Hmm. What else we got here? Hey, did y'all like them sound effects? That was pretty badass, huh? You know, I meant to use this half of a turkey the other day, and I, I took it somewhere and didn't get a chance to use it, and I just threw it back in here. If it's still there come Thanksgiving, it's going in the oven. Man, I still got a gray I need to skin. I'll tell you what I like about these guys. When they're like this, you can put your hand right in front of their mouth. Look, fucker don't bite. Ha. I guess I taught him a lesson. 
Okay, let's see what else we got here. Oh, got, this shit stinks, man. Oh, it's these guys. Oh, oh, Mr. Coon. This one's wearing a mask. Yep. I probably got several of these in here, but they're all buried in there. Let's see what else is in here. that one too. Another coon. Boy, you look rough, dude. Looks like he had a rough day, didn't he? Jack Hanna's Animal Adventure? I don't know who Jack Hanna, Hanna is. Now, I just thought we'd take a look in the freezer, man. See what all is in here that I still need to, like, pull out and thought. These, you know, fever. Oh. These guys, they're, oh, there we go. Jeez. These dudes, I'll have to, like, thaw for, like, two days before I skin it. Skin before freezer. Oh yeah, there's some skins in here too, but well, I, I, I might not have mentioned this, but sometimes like I go check traps and I gotta be at work on most jobs between 7.30 and 8. So it's freaking hard to skin anything and get to work at 7.30. So they just go, they get dumped in here. Oh, Ooh, look at that. Oh my God, don't tell my mom this is in here. Hey Rich, what's up? Oh, let's see. Damn, I lost count already. Oh, you guys are keeping count, right? What's this? Oh, another coon. Hey Dan, this is Alabama coons. They ain't much to look at, are they? Well, he was probably prettier when he was alive, but he's a lot more friendly now. Real cool personality. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty nice beaver pelt, but I mean, that's got a thought. Look, look, there's his little ears. Got ears here, here. His little nose. But yeah, that's a solid freaking clump. Uh, no, that, I don't think that's her cat. I don't know. There might be one or two of hers mixed in here somewhere. <laughs> Dang. The ones that get on the bottom of the pile, they kind of look all crazy looking. But look at pure white belly. You'd think that this thing would go pretty good on the uh, pretty good on the fur market, huh? I could send some of these up to Canada uh, to NAFTA next year, maybe, and see what they say. Probably get top lot, man. Oh, another one. Look, they must have been brothers or sisters or whatever. Fucking pussy. Jeez, I got to fucking... I don't think I'm going to fit them all back in here now. They're a lot easier to squeeze in here when they're warm. Hey, Mr. Coon. So... Uh, yeah, I ain't going to have room to stand. Um... Ooh. That don't look like a beaver. Oh, that's a, that was like a baby beaver. I remember that. That was a long time ago. Hmm. Why the hell did I save the cats? What are you talking about, man? I throw them out there and let a coyote come find them. If the coyote don't find them, um, after a few days, coons will. That's for dang sure. I tried using them for coyote bait. And, like, every coyote and bobcat walked right by them, didn't seem real interested. You know, normally I, I've heard a lot of people have luck with them, but uh, when they get old and rotten, the coons do like them. Oh. Well, that's weird. Hmm. That's a uh, red fox leg. I must have been saving that for something. Oh, yeah. I think it was a back scratcher or something. I'll have to work on that. it be a fun project. A lot of beaver tail in here. Probably must have saved every beaver tail I ever caught. Uh, yep, there's some old coon pelts in there. Probably been in there a couple years. I'll have to get around to messing around with those. So, I'm going to see if I can put these back in here. This is going to be, like, pretty hard. That one went pretty good. Okay. I'm going to put the cats on the bottom because I won't be needing them anytime soon. I ain't that hungry. Any more cats? Oh, there's one. Okay. 
Okay. What we got? That's that's only four cats. That's not bad. I thought I had more than that. And looks like I'm gonna have four coons too. Cut some of them in half. I know that man. I left my chainsaw at the other house. I had my big steel chainsaw out today. Never have used that on a cat, but we'll get around to it. Can you believe you? Uh, can you believe YouTube would delete a channel this awesome? <laughs> what the? All right, four coons, four cats, one gray. Let's see if I can... Damn, you know when they're frozen, their butthole looks funny. Look at that. Is that a funny looking an anus to you? All right. Oh, get it. Okay, beaver. Oh, another beaver. Okay, he ain't gonna go. Yeah, like that. Another hide. There we go. I can't believe I got all that in there. If this thing closes, I'm gonna have to set on it. <sighs> all right. Well, that was fun. Hey, how come there's only six people watching? Where is everybody? I don't empty my freezer for just six people, man. I'm gonna put my shades back on. There we go. All right, somebody say something. Nothing? Because I missed all the... Con oh, go and knock the bottom out of that freezer. Yeah, probably will. That The other freezer is like uh, beaver burger and stuff that's been processed. The big freezer is for ones I haven't got to yet. The little freezer is for the ones I have. Makes sense, huh? It's like a system. And, uh, you know, if I can get this freezer empty, I got some people out Never mind. How do you like them no BS traps? No BS is strong, man. Just six awesome people. Yeah, you know, the cool thing about being small and start back up is I only have my most diehard bad asses subs uh, back. But I've picked up like 20 in the last two days due to various things. Um, like WT Farm Gal uh, gave me a plug because I sent her a couple fox pelts. I uh, had some other... And, I, and last night I was watching some, like, a Tim Wells video, and I'm like, dude, some of these people, in the, the freaking hunting videos get millions of views. Why don't I skin and sell the hides? Fuck, when would I, man? I was pretty busy with work during trapping season, and like I told uh, Dan a while ago, it's like, I got I work construction, and I trap to the north of where I live, and I work to the south of where I live, and I got to be on a job at, like, 7.30 to 8. So... Doesn't give you any time to skin anything. It's like, crack of dawn, I'm hauling ass to go check some traps, even if it's just a handful of them. I didn't even have time to remake a lot of the ones when I during the week. It's like, pop it, chunk it in the truck, and get get back here, throw it in the freezer, and go to work, man. That's, and then, like, now, I have to, like, plan it to where, where I got, like, a day or two to let the shit thaw, leave it in here on the floor, and then get around to it. I need to do that pretty soon, though. This freezer won't hold another cat. And I can't use that as, as an excuse not to kill more cats. Thanks, Aaron. That was a that was a rough one to do. Uh, it's uh, never expected something like that. To you know, you don't think shit like that when you start just throwing together videos for YouTube. Um, all right, so you know, where's the banjo man from North Alabama? He in here yet? Because I kind of like, you know, he left a cool comment the other day. It's going to, I agree, it's going to cuck with you for what? No, 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 no cucking. Um, I think you mean suck. So, yeah, Banjo Man uh, left a uh, pretty good comment the other day about Because I was feeling pretty down about losing the channel and then about Red Jacket and everything. It's like, no. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And it's like, I was, it's, 
it's been weird, but it's like, man, I, I got the coolest fucking subs, man. You get into like these live streams or you see the comment section on my videos, nobody else has. Nobody on YouTube's got subs like mine. Because, uh, uh, you know, we all got that uh, unique sense of humor. And, you know, other people, lesser people, they don't have it. It's only for us. So, um, but, you know, we do find some. That's right. We are the greatest. And, uh, you know, I'm going to rebuild it. Uh, Banjo Man said something about how, you know, I built a channel in two years. It had 14,000 subscribers in a... You know, he's got a point. I did pretty good considering I, I couldn't I couldn't edit for shit when I started. Um, my camera was shit. My audio was shit. My screen personality was shit. The video subject matter I used at first was shit. It was really only in the last year that I actually got anything. A hundred invites via Facebook Messenger. Ah, there's Mad Nasty with that Facebook. He feels about Patreon like I feel about Facebook. It's like, I really, I, I really wish that, yeah. Somebody told me that Patreon had deleted so many millions of videos over the last few months, but I, I couldn't remember what it was. Yeah, so, it's, um, damn, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, see, it, uh, I kind of miss... The Patreon thing because I have so many cool videos that I can never put on this channel. It's like I can I I couldn't get Patreon big enough, fast enough to pay for the hosting to make it worthwhile. And when I lost this channel, I can't I can't bring people to Patreon without this channel. Basically, I don't know I don't know how to market the Patreon without YouTube. So I mean, and I know people do it, and I know they're good at it, but I'm not I don't want to be on like a hundred different social medias. I just kind of like want to focus on one and dominate it. And, you know, I think I can pretty well beat any fucking trapper on YouTube because a lot of them are boring as shit. And a lot of them are just not, they're taking cell phone, cell phone video and straight uploading it. And so it's, it's not that great. So, yep. So you guys help me, uh, you know, we're going to get, we're going to get back to where, where this channel is going to dominate YouTube's trapping. That's the plan, right? Somehow, uh, you know, and not just trapping. We'll do other, we'll do other shit. Like I said, tonight I'm gonna do a, do a review of that uh, Remington brush cutter because it's like a, it's pretty good brush cutter, power wise and everything. But that's a pretty handy thing to have. So yeah, I I cut a lot of shit the last few days. Mad nasty trapping warriors are now in the house. Few of them Facebook. Now I'm only showing ten people, man. Yeah, Chip, you're going to love that. Oh, Chip. Also, you know how your volume is always low? Uh, did I show you that microphone I've been using? Because I've seen it in several of my videos. It's on there, but that microphone is freaking awesome. And it was only like 20 bucks. You should get that thing, man. It'll plug straight into your phone. And uh, because I carry this, uh, all my survival gear right here in case the Zompok happens. I clip it, clip that microphone right here on the freaking paracord, and that's how I do it. And it's like, man, that shit's loud, and it saves me a lot of time in editing because before I got that, in order to raise my volume, I had to like save each clip separately. Yeah, see, uh, amplify. That's how I did that, and that's before I got the microphone. I would actually amplify it. I like your old channel because you came across as a real guy. You never hid your past and put the work in your videos. Yep. Well, my new channel is the same as my old channel. The only thing I did different, some of the videos I didn't have backed up, like the stories and shit that was like easy to reproduce or ones that I really didn't care if I lost. And a lot of them just went straight back up. But some of the older ones I've been improving. I don't know if you guys can notice that. I've tried to work on the audio, but I had a really crappy camera back then. But some of them, I, some of them were, I didn't want to get rid of them because they were really good in a way they just didn't have the audio quality um but i've tried to improve them uh i think i've got another one i'm gonna make live right after this and then i'm gonna do that other uh what do you call it uh you know what i'm 46 when i was 36 i had eight percent body fat and i had six pack abs right now i don't have that 
However, I still got pretty badass hands and I got pretty strong shoulders. Log right at the moment. The flesh. Is, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That that log. Uh, look. Don't tell YouTube I did that. It'll probably take the channel down. I'm thinking about implants. I'd show my ass, but you guys would fucking make fun of me because of my heartbreaker tattoo. I do have a boring... This is kind of... Not really a boring t-shirt, man. This is Lennon's Lures. Sent to me by John Chagnon himself. Only guy to strap a rubber dong to tree as a trap set. You know, somebody asked me about that today under, uh, under Sam Woods' uh, video... Yeah, Sam put the video up and I said something and blah, blah, blah. I, yeah, I mentioned it. My channel had been uh, deleted. And somebody actually mentioned that, hey, weren't you the one that strapped the dildo to the tree? That's another one I wish I had Patreon up for. I think, you know, and there's still some stuff on the Patreon channel. I don't check on it every day. I think there's still some people that have signed up. I got to go back and message them and tell them, hey, I ain't putting fresh content up here. If you just want to give me money, fine. But, uh, you know. Plug-in mics are awesome. I have one with my podcast. I use it on my geopolitical... Do you have a geopolitical channel and a podcast? You never even tell us this shit, man. And probably the only one to have a rubber dong stolen out of the woods. You know, the only thing that pisses me off about that is the fox was moving so fast, I only got a blurry, crappy picture of him running off... Or I'm thinking it's a her. Running off with that dildo. And I never found the dildo, but my buddy saw that fox out there the other day. Well... Might be the same fox. I don't know. I did kill two or three there. Kind of surprised there wasn't another red in this uh, freezer. I don't like to. Uh, I'll have to go kill some reds. Season still in? Who cares about that? What's the law man going to do to me? Foxy with a rubber donger. Uh, so, I do need to do some trapping, but I've been working the last three days. I've been out with the brush cutter working on my friend's property where I trap. And I have cut this shit out of that privet, man. I've laid waste to it and I've been burning. And I mean, there's still a lot to go, but I'm going to try to open up some new areas. And I got a, I got a really big gill net I want to try out. I got some other, uh, I got some other fishing shit I want to do, play around with because I'm working on some survival stuff. And it's like, I need to practice some things. You know, I, I did 10 years in, in prison, right? Or not, eight, almost nine years. So I was out of the woods all that time. When I got out, I worked my fucking ass off all the time for the last few years to rebuild my life. So I don't have the amount of trapping time and dirt time that I need to be, you know, I'm not like, I don't ever think that I'm kind of a, a, an expert at any of this shit, man. Paint a Duke number five rainbow. You catch what? California queers? Hmm. I didn't know. I, I didn't know I had a caller that could do that. Speak a bit on world conflict, politics, uh, ham radio, bushcrafting. Thanks, Chris. For researching for a new hobby. Uh, I hope it doesn't involve the dildo. The um. Well, that's your business. Okay. Uh, is it world conflict? Phew. That stuff's been going on a while. Going to keep going on. As long as there's two people in the world. Very, very easy to turn people against each other, ain't it? All you do is point a finger. Hey, go kill them people. I think humans know killing's wrong. We just look for an excuse to do it. Hey, there's some fucking moron under one of the hunting videos that I watched. And he was saying like, oh, humans are the only ones that kill for pleasure. And say. Like, these people are so out of touch with nature that they don't understand that fucking baboons, raccoons, minks, uh, cats, dogs, well, all kill for fun. You know? You got a useless degree in it? Yeah. Is that what, political science or something? Or dildos? I've kind of, I kind of like lost it. Starbucks Latte has a caller with rainbow traps. Did you guys ever hear the, uh... The trapping radio podcast Clint did, where it was one of the old ones, and he said that one thing that really works on uh, on Bobcats was Chanel Number no. Five. Uh, cooking toaster cooking. I wish we could get Sam Woods to tune into one of our live streams. That would be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, Chanel Number no. Five, the real deal. That's like over a hundred dollars an ounce. Supposedly a tra uh, is a great Bobcat lure. I won't know. 
because you know even if i get a bobcat over there he's going to step all over my trap and not get caught so that's just you know my luck can't catch the damn things i can catch a lot of feral cats though if chris tried that he would catch the place on fire yeah wouldn't be the first time i never told the story about setting fire on a school bus i didn't set the school bus itself on fire but that's uh that was in my younger days Y'all know that I wasn't like a real good kid, right? I mean, I was a good kid, but I broke I broke a few rules. I don't know why. Currently pursuing a degree in medical. Yeah, that much I knew. A bobcat being chased by a coyote? Now, that would have been a good fight, because one-on-one, -on -one, I think that cat might take him. Cats got pretty good offense. They are, as much as I hate cats, you gotta admit, they are a great killing machine. I mean, they don't stand a chance against me, but against a uh, coyote or something, you'd be a pretty good matchup. So, wait, 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 wait. Uh, what are we going to talk about? Man, I, I, I should have freaking drank a monster or something. Coyote would have taken him? Hmm. What's a coyote up there run? 40, 40, uh, 45 pounds? But like, all right, we got some pretty decent sizes ones down here. You know there's a little bit of dog mixed in these southern coyotes. Oh. Hard to stay in line with school. Uh, you know, school sucks. All I can say is, is survive it until you get out and then forget all that shit. And learn stuff that's going to help you in the real world. Um, I can't really speak for all those people that are like, actually, because some people are good at school. I, not me. I felt everything, man. Every fucking thing. 25 to 30 pounds on average. The cat was about 15 pounds. Hell, my mama's got house cats that big. Oh, let's kick back over here. Lay on top of my dead animals. So, oh, oh, my multi-tool have been testing out. I gotta do a review on this, but I gotta work on it more. I got, I don't want to review it until I break something on it. I know a possum will whip a house cat. <laughs> Yep. I haven't seen Hunts Outdoors back on here lately. Is he around? Big Coon or Big Beaver on land only to Artak. Which would you rather take in a fight? Um, me versus them? I'd rather take on a Beaver, even though he can... A Coon is too... A Coon is a lot faster on land than a Beaver. Uh, I wouldn't want either one of them to bite me. That's... But, uh, yeah, I, I can... I'm assuming you did see the one where I stabbed the beaver with the Artac. Because I had two beaver stabbing videos. Because, I mean, everybody wanted to see one where I stabbed one with the Artac. Another thing I miss about that freaking, uh, what do you call it? Patreon shit. Kind of miss being able to post just whatever the hell I want. And you see, I get on here on YouTube and I gotta be boring as hell. You see this shit? That was sweet Artac. Man, and you know, I've been wearing this lately. Otherwise, I'd be having it on. Um, I got five or six badass medium-sized knives, and I just like, never wear them. They almost never use them. State trapper calendar. Wait a minute now. Um, should I like give me a good pose? Huh? I ain't gonna show my boobs again. Well, I mean, unless you ask nice. Shanking that beaver was awesome. Yeah, the first one was pretty cool because that was like a natural anger type thing that came out, and that's. The second one was kind of like premeditated beaver murder. Thinking about buying a Gerber Prodigy. Hey man, I got the Gerber Strong Arm in BDZ1, and the Strong Arm is pretty badass. But yeah, Prodigy would be cool too. Let's see them titties. Uh, Jesus. You think anybody else on fucking YouTube has live streams like we do? I don't think so. It's already going on 30 minutes. Might have to like go back and replay the freezer scenes. And I, I really need to get all that shit out of there so I can defrost that thing. Yeah. All right. Well, I, all those subscribers that I just gained when they tune in and watch this shit, I'm just gonna like lose them all. This is a this is a, this is an elite group of YouTubers on this channel, man. Just tie your shirt in a knot for the. I had to lose some weight first, man. Come on. I'm a lard ass. Red fox nipple tassels. Yeah, I, you know, I've, I've only got two red fox hides, and I promised to send them to somebody. But, uh, 
It's all right. I wasn't going to do anything with them. I'll get a bunch of... There's, if there's one fucking thing I can catch, it's foxes. I promise you that. I may not be good at coyotes and bobcats and shit, but I can catch a fox. Got out of <laughs> Next live chat is going to be on the stripper pole. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to do that until I'm starting, until I'm making a few bucks on here. Oh, Mad Nasty. Are your live streams as good as this? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Your, your Facebook live streams are blocked or your, your YouTube live streams are blocked? Hey, Rich, you still in here? Wait. Rich, are you there? I don't see you. Nah. Uh, shit. There's only 13 of you left. I guess I'm losing it. Losing my touch, man. Okay. Yep. I did read your story the other day about the guy that was, like, playing with the Indians and stuff. I was like, Sheesh. he lived to be a long time, too. Uh, blocked on YouTube live for two more months. Yeah, that sucks, you know, because that, that could happen at any time. I mean, like, I got, like, 60-something videos up now, and any one of them could cause me to, you know, or at least um, any one of the trapping videos could autom could get me fucked up pretty fast. The old live streams went in the gutter pretty fast. Yeah, you know, but the old live streams, they went straight to the homo gutter, and it's like, hey, this is, like, hetero. Let's stay with the hetero gutter. Pretty much. Uh... Yeah, how much other stuff have you written, Rich? And I saw the video with you and Dan in the cafe the other day, and it's like, I, was, I know you were just there to keep him out of trouble, keeping an eye on him and shit. But the other guy, I don't know who that was. Hopefully, uh, he's watching. A blowgun and go cottonmouth hunting. Hmm. I do have the spear, to, the spearhead, the cold steel bushmaster to go cottonmouth hunting. Nothing pisses off people on YouTube like killing a snake. Doesn't matter if it's a poisonous snake or not. Doesn't matter if it raped your kid or something. The fucking, you kill a snake, and there's somebody going to be on your ass about it. Turtles are the same way. I don't understand it. Um, you know, I guess it's pretty much the same way if you kill anything. Brandon Burnham. I was the other guy with Dan and Rich. Okay, I'm glad you're here. A couple hundred articles in a dozen or so magazines. Snakes are tasty. Yep, yep, yep. Any more deer hunting or other hunting on the channel? Maybe. Uh, right now, it's been kind of hard to go work on like um, anything that takes a lot of time. Because, I mean, I've been working on the brush cutter stuff, but I'm trying to do one thing at a time. I'm thinking tomorrow I might play around, I'm gonna play around with some different things, but probably nothing on camera. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things I need to experiment with and do and learn. Uh, so, like I said, I'm not an expert. I need more dirt time. I don't want to like just like go out there and depend on creative editing in order to make me look like an expert. I actually want to be an expert before I do the video. You know what I'm saying? I know that sounds weird in the world of YouTube when all you gotta do is fake it to make it. So, you know, I could just go do a survival video. Charmaine's here. Hey, baby. What kind of panties you got on? Only the people who don't live around Cottonmouth bitch about killing them. Yeah, that's true. Those little fuckers are everywhere. You y'all saw the video where it's like what I ran into four that day. Yeah, uh, uh. Charmaine's here. She's gonna talk dirty to us. I think she's the only. Ch you need to do a side by side live with farm chicks. She, yeah, she is a cool gal. I don't know if she's uh, cool enough to hang with us on on our live streams, but I did go there and invite her. I seen a few traps at a hardware store in Brookwood. A few you suggested. Oh, yeah? Brookwood, huh? You know me, I just, like, order shit online, man. I, I won't drive two miles down the road if I can avoid it. Wearing a, a gimp mask? Oh, my God. Leather and a gimp mask. You got your whip, too? In West Virginia, we always kill snakes. Y'all got mountain snakes. What happened to that one chick you used to talk to? Uh, That one chick... Hey, you know, I haven't heard from her lately. I think, uh, I don't know. I would say she found a, found somebody with a bigger one, but that's not likely. Well, unless she went out to the barn. She in a thong? Copperheads up in West Virginia. Oh, yeah, Copperheads. They ain't nothing nice. All right, game time, Charmaine. 
Hey, yo, Blade is here. About time. Blade, you been out killing them damn vampires? You know you just slice your head right off, right? I don't know. Uh, Ola, Northern Woodford. Hey, I'm glad you made it. What a big, a bigger rubber dong. I am the vampire. The anima chick? You want a guy with more hair. What a new. What I, what I don't have in hair, I'm more makeup for everywhere else. Besides, I got plenty of hair. Have you seen my ass? Charmaine is going to go live with Chris and show ass. Yeah, but whose ass? Leather cat suit and gimp mask. There's a mink running around the back parking lot of my shop. I'm running around trying to get... A fucking mink running around the back of the shop? Why does this shit happen to me? Bring that alien chick on stream. Shit would get... That alien chick? Hmm. Ew. You know, that was one thing I liked. To... Oh, that chick! I wonder whatever happened to her. Yeah, she was a nut. Yeah. I need to, uh... Yeah, she was flaky. I mean, I, I know you wouldn't think that there'd be a flaky female on a YouTube channel, but she was. I think your ass. I think your ass. Huh? So, yeah. I did have a chick that was like my groupie for a while. I hadn't seen her lately. I'm trying to get bit so I can go viral. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. That really works great with foxes, but... What happened to that black one you was going to marry on one lie? I don't know. She was only like 17. She's going to have to wait another year. But remember, I lost my old channel, so... All those people that were subbed and whatever, there's a lot of them haven't found me again. All right, Lewis. Uh, buy your old lady something nice to eat. Charmaine asked. Charmaine's going to show... I don't know. You know, I don't think she's as freaky as she lets on. She said she said she was, but I don't think so. I don't think she can live up to all that big talk. Hmm. Most chicks nowadays are bi. The trouble is figuring out sexual or polar. I thought both. But yeah, bisexual don't bother me at all, as long as it's chicks. You know, alright. Bring your friend over. I talk the talk, I walk the walk. That's my girl. Oh. See, I told y'all I had the bestest subs. Yep. Big talker. Alright. Groupies need to show the goods. They're both of my moderators. Well, yeah. Just kind of made me think a minute. Hell, I'd be fine with just watching two go at it for a while. Oh, hell, you can't watch two go at it for a while without joining in. I watch them just long enough to cover myself in baby oil and jump in there. Yeah, that's it. I could tell you were to find me, but you would know how freaky I'd be. Huh. You're the dude, Chris. I am a dude. I'm not the dude. I'm nothing special, man. I'm just me. You know? Just a jackass with a YouTube channel. Wait, can I say jackass? Did, did that other guy that did stupid shit, did he like steal that phrase to where only he could use it? I don't know what ever happened to that dude. I never watched that stupid shit anyway. Anyway. A resourceful one. Hmm, I know where to find you, but England's a long flight. And I don't want to be on the plane for like 12 hours with a boner. Well, maybe the stewardess will take care of it, but I think you got to pay for first class for that. Thinking outside the box? Fucking damn, I've never even had the box. Anyway, I think it's time to get out of here before this goes on too long. Alright, you guys remember to like replay everything and spread it and whatever. Let's build this channel back up and better than it was. Took two years last time to get 14,000. Let's see if we can do it in a year. Mad nasty. No, no, no. Dude, it's been 40 minutes. There's websites you can find me. Oh my God. Adult Friend Finder. Pornhub? 
No! What, y'all good? How many of y'all want me to keep going? Because, like, I do four hour lives. Yeah, but you don't have a life outside of this shit, man. I got, like, shit to do. I got hoes to pimp. You know? I got them. They're wait, lined up waiting on me out there. Fastest 40 minutes on YouTube. Ah! You know, I have tuned into some live streams on other channels, and, and, and you, the, if, if they're cool, fetish.com. Ooh, you guys, uh, you guys write that down. Chris needs to give his meat to a few women. That's true, my non-frozen meat. Stiff, but not frozen. Chris can't make it past 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah. You want to check my references, buddy? All right. 41 minutes. I think we can call it right here. It's, uh, maybe Chris likes men. I, doop, 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 nope, uh-uh. I did eight years, eight months, 15 days locked up with men. Well, no, okay, the last six months. I did eight years, two months, and 15 days locked up with only men. Never touched another wee-wee other than mine. Promise you. Most men cannot get past five minutes. Really? I hope you're joking. I'm going to ask you about that later. We need a story. I got I got stories, man, but we'll go, uh, we'll... Let me go in and make a trapping video live, and then I'm going to start uploading the brush cutting video. And then I'll work on something for the next live stream. I got I got to, like, plan this shit out, man. It took me three, four, five minutes to plan this one out. So I got to plan out the next one. I'll get a story for you on the next one, all right? Uh, oh, I got to get... <clears throat> There's shit to do, man. Okay. Later, dudes. Yep, fetish.com.